Hello everyone, my name is Kyle Miller, Solutions Engineer at DJI, and today we're going to talk about some new updates to the DJI Thermal Analysis Tool. The tool that you're seeing here is version 3.1, and on my screen you are seeing a data set of thermal images captured with the Mavic 3 Thermal of a cooling tower. So let's go ahead and dive into some of the major updates. The first one, we got a lot of feedback about customers wanting to be able to change the parameters of multiple images within a single click, rather than having to change each individual image. Now with the new batch setting feature, we are able to do just that. Select one or more images. I'm gonna go ahead and select all. And now I have the ability of selecting on batch setting and changing the distance, humidity percentage, the emissivity, or the reflected temp. I'm gonna go ahead and type in on the reflected temp of 20 degrees Celsius and confirm, and you will now see the batch settings go through and change each individual image. When that is done, we are able to close out of this menu and now view all of our images. Now that is complete, we have been able to change all 75 photos within this data set. Some other nice features that we've been able to add to the thermal analysis tool would be to be able to view the coordinates of the image. Whether you have selected just one photo and you are viewing the image on the right hand side, you can now see under the image info options, the coordinates. Also, if we were to click into this photo, we can also see the coordinates uh, of that image. And remember, this was captured with the Mavic 3 Thermal and so with the RTK module, and so each of these images that were captured are very accurate outputs of the coordinates. One of the other nice features that we've been able to improve on are the annotations or the markups that we are gathering, the measurements we're getting on these thermal images. So the measurement tools are on the left-hand side, and I'm gonna go ahead and drop a couple measurements. And as you can see in the very corners of the photo, we're getting true readouts and it's getting coming back onto the image. So we're not having any sort of overflow or overspill over the image and we have a nice consistent reading. You're also gonna notice this as well on the distance measurement. So if we wanted to measure across this image and it measures to the very edge of the photo, we do not have an overflow over the edge of the photo, we get nice consistent readings across that line. Also with these measurements, you're going to see the improvements on the image and on the right hand side. We have a nice measurements readout of every measurement that we have created so far. So of the four corners and the first line, and you can see each one of those measurements, you can see the corresponding marker. You get the value of the temperature or if you're creating a line or measuring an area, you're gonna get the min, average, and max temperature readings. One last feature to point out, we are also able to read the image max temperature, the highest temperature, and the lowest temperature there. So on the right-hand side, you may have used this uh, scale before, but now we also get the true readouts on the very bottom and on the very top. That is the 0.2% of the scale, and you're not going to be able to adjust into that scale, but you are able to get the readout, the true readout of what the coldest and warmest spot of the image that was read. So on this image, you're seeing negative one degrees Celsius all the way up to 166.4 degrees Celsius. And on top of all of these updates, we've also been able to improve on a couple different bugs just to have a better overall experience utilizing the thermal analysis tool. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the DJI Enterprise team. Thank you.